It's fair to say former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has been laying low these past few weeks. Her only words following the State of the Union came by a tweet. But there is always a method to the political madness of those seeking elected office, and the Clintons know perhaps better than most how to play the game. He is a noted Democratic strategist and attorney, former general counsel for the Democratic Party of Virginia. Certainly understands about where the money goes in politics. Stephen Cobb joins us today on Midpoint. Stephen, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Pleasure. All right. Where's Hillary been? She has been conveniently missing amongst all of the, the national coverage. Well, I don't know if missing is the right word. Uh, you know, I think she's, to the extent that we all agree that she's eventually going to get in this race, she's uh, doing everything right. She's putting together her team uh, quietly, apparently, and, but is going to, uh, you know, really ignite that campaign when the time is right. And I'll be the first to say I'm looking forward to it, and I know many Democrats are. But is it not fair to say that what she is doing right now really is smart when it comes down to this point of the campaign? The Republicans are arguing about who is sitting there right now. The State of the Union address, everybody is attacking the president, and the president can't quite figure out what he's going to say that's truthful in the State of the Union. So isn't it smart at this point? Lay low, let it all go by? Well, it seems that every day a new Republican comes out and declares their interest in running for the presidency. And we saw that there were, I believe, five responses to the State of the Union uh, Tuesday night from the Republicans. So I think to the extent that you, she has these potential uh, candidates on the other side who can't get out of each other's way, I, I think it does make a lot of sense just to sit back and wait a little bit. What about the money here? Because we're hearing reports now, and there have been a couple of printed stories out there that says, quite frankly, and they're hinting almost, saying you will not believe the amount of money that Hillary Clinton is going to be able to bring to the table here. You going for that? Are you seeing and, and hearing a lot of that? I think there's a lot of excitement, and I think it spans the whole spectrum of the donor base. I think this comes from people who are excited to give a $5 donation, and I think it goes to bundlers who are willing to spend a lot of their time and money to get others to donate. I think you're going to see the folks who have been waiting for some time, uh, and speaking for myself, you know, the, the day she announces will be the day I write a check. But with regard to that money, are you then confident and people around her confident that she is A, the candidate, B, the money is going there, C, let's forget about Elizabeth Warren at this point, D, let's just move forward and get her into the race right now? Well, that was A, B, C, and D. I'm going to do my best to try and hit all the points. Uh, They're all pretty much Democrats, the same point uh, if you think about it. It all means basically <laughs> moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, and the, the short answer is yes. I think for most Democrats, she is our candidate. We do believe that she's going to get in. We are ready to uh, contribute. And I think uh, when the time comes, we're all going to get behind her as a Democratic candidate for president in 2016. Isn't the issue, though, here that she's got to be careful? Because there's a report coming out today that says she is giving speeches in Canada, co-hosted by the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. They have come under investigation from the United States for helping wealthy Americans offshore money, uh, basically avoid paying taxes. Doesn't she have to be really careful who she's speaking to at this point? Well, I think anyone who's thinking about running for president needs to be careful about the, the groups that they speak, speak with and the messages they send. And I think that no matter who Secretary Clinton is speaking to, she's always carrying forth a, a very important message and one about the direction our country is going. And I think she's going to continue to do that and it's going to be, uh, end up being a valuable part of, of her campaign and her message moving forward. In your opinion, if she's smart, will she put as much distance as she can between herself and Barack Obama from here on out? I don't think so at all. I think there, when you look at 58 consecutive months of job growth, when you look at uh, unemployment at under 6%. I think when you look at 10 million uninsured, I think there's a lot to be proud of over the last few years, uh, and I expect her to, to recognize that as well. Stephen, I know it's only opinion at this point. We've got a long way to go, but you sound confident that Hillary Clinton, if the election was held today, would win this election. I am, I am confident. Uh, I, I think she would win. I think it would be big. You don't think there's anybody sitting, in your opinion again, anybody sitting on the Republican side right now who could defeat Hillary Clinton? Listen, we're a long way away from Election Day. And I know that, but we got to look ahead at least. You know what it's all about here in politics <laughs> now and looking ahead. Is there anybody sitting there right now that you think could beat Hillary Clinton on the Republican side? No. No one. There's, there's, there's no one I've seen who's, who's come out on the Republican side showing uh, an interest. 
who uh, I think can mount a formidable challenge. And I think this is backed up every time you see a new Republican announce their interest. And the, the limited polls that are out there right now shows Hillary Clinton leading all of them. So as I said, while two years is a long ways away, as things look today, I, I think she is uh, the candidate and hopefully the next president of the United States. I like a confident man. Stephen Cobb, thanks so much for joining us. Midpoint will continue.